The Cogitech TriSuite software package includes Cogitech Video Investigator, Cogitech Video Active, and Cogitech Auto Measure. Video Investigator is Cogitech's comprehensive video processing platform for extracting the utmost available clarity from image or video sources. Two of Video Investigator's primary functions, Obscure and Highlight, will be covered in this interactive tutorial. Welcome to the Cognitech Video Investigator Obscure and Highlight tutorial. This interactive tutorial will focus on visualization tools using the Obscure and Highlight filters. Click Go to begin. Releasing video evidence to the public often requires that content be hidden to conceal the identity of individuals. The Obscure filter conceals sensitive content with a blocking effect. This technique reveals the general features of the person or object while concealing the identity. Objects of interest are often hard to find in crowded or noisy video. The highlight filter allows the user to adjust the relative brightness of the object of interest to draw the viewer's attention to an object of interest. Highlight can be applied to brighten a specified selection or inverted to darken everything but the specified selection. The Obscure filter is user-adjustable and provides irreversible concealment. The Obscure filter is found in the Editing Filters category. The Obscure filter is a valuable tool for concealing the identity of sensitive content. The Block Size parameter allows a user to adjust the size of the Obscure blocks. This is a video of the Boston bomber in a crowd of people. We will use Obscure to hide the face of the civilian bystander. Obscure is found in the Editing category of the Filters menu. Open the Filters menu. Obscure is found in the Editing category. Open the Obscure filter. Activate the filter. Obscure is automatically applied to the entire video. We will make a selection of the original video to apply Obscure to. The individual has been obscured in the first frame. We will now duplicate the selection to all of the subsequent frames. Adjust the copy type by clicking the Copy Method button. Click the Copy button to copy the object selection. Click Duplicate to copy the object selection to all other frames. Click Frame 2 to move on to the next frame. Notice that the subject has not moved, so the object selection does not need to be moved. Click frame 3 to move to the next frame. Click frame 4 to move to the next frame. Click frame 5 to move to the next frame. Click frame 6 to move to the next frame. Click frame 7 to move on to the next frame. Click frame 8 to move on to the next frame. Click frame 9 to move on to the next frame. Click frame 10 to move on to the next frame. Click frame 11 to move on to the next frame. Change the block size to 16 to adjust the size of the obscure blocks. A block size of 16 may be too big. Change the block size to 4. A block size of 4 appears to obscure the details of the individual while retaining the person's shape. We will now duplicate the parameters to all the subsequent frames. Adjust the copy type by clicking the Copy Method button. Click the Copy button to copy the block size parameter. Click Duplicate to copy the block size parameter to all other frames. Click Process to apply Obscure to the video. Click Finish to close the parameter window. 
Obscure reveals the general features of the person or object while concealing the identity. Toggle the checkbox to compare before and after Obscure. The highlight filter is a user-adjustable method for focusing the viewer's attention. The highlight filter is found in the editing filters category. The highlight filter is a valuable tool for attracting viewer's attention to an object of interest. The degree of highlight parameter allows the user to adjust the amount of brightness or darkness applied to an image. Inverse Highlight allows the user to darken everything but the object selection instead of brightening the object selection. We will now use Highlight to focus the viewer's attention on the suspect. Highlight is found in the editing category of the Filters menu. Open the Filters menu. Highlight is found in the editing category. Open the Highlight filter. Activate the filter. Highlight is automatically applied to the entire video. We will make a selection of the original video to apply highlight to. Change the degree of highlight to 50. Invert the highlight filter. Inverting the highlight filter decreases the brightness of area outside the object selection, rather than increasing the brightness inside the object selection. Change the degree of highlight to 20 to decrease the amount of brightness adjustment. Click the Copy button to copy the parameters. Click Duplicate to duplicate the parameters to all other frames. Click frame 2 to move on to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 3 to move on to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 4 to move on to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 5 to move to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 6 to move to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 7 to move to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 8 to move to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 9 to move to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 10 to move to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click frame 11 to move to the next frame. Move the selection box to follow the subject. Click process to apply highlight to the video. Click finish to close the highlight filter. The highlight filter is a user adjustable method for focusing the viewer's attention. Toggle the checkbox to compare before and after highlight. You have successfully obscured and highlighted content in video with Cognitech Obscure and Highlight. With practice, content can be efficiently obscured or highlighted for visualization. Try Obscure and Highlight today and see how these visualization tools can work for you. For sales or technical questions, contact us at sales at Cognitech.com or tech support at Cognitech.com or visit us at www.cognitech.com.